Hey Measuring Hero, Jay here. A few video blogs ago, we spoke to Mikhail about medical plastics, where he said that we could come back in and see what it takes to actually measure part. So we're back at the customer center in the little medical corner, and we brought in a really smart person to help us out, Vanessa. Hi, Che. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for being a smart person <laughs> for showing this for us. Um, all right, so uh, what part are we going to look at today? Uh, I just finished the inspection plan for that medical plastic part here. Okay. It's a thumb lever and it's assembled in that inhaler here and you can activate it by pushing that down. Great. So it's that blue part in this medical plastics assembly. Exactly. Yeah, great. Okay. That's what we're going to measure. Uh, why did we choose O-Inspect? Well, the O-Inspect has some great features to measure medical plastic parts like that. Um, due to the high quantity mm -hmm. of parts, we have to have very fast cycle times. That means we have to measure as fast as possible. Sure. And that's why I chose the O-Inspect. So, for example, we have that size fast probing mode here. That means that we can measure much faster by sure. using that function, especially when it comes to tactile measurement. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to see that. Can we show yeah, of course, I can show it to you. So I've created some single measurement points here mm -hmm. on that CAT file or on that measuring, on that part. And now let me execute the standard probing mode first. So it took around 31 seconds. Yeah. And now I will activate the vast probing mode. You can do that in measurement plan editor features mm -hmm. on CMM parameters and probing parameter. And here you can turn it on for each uh, feature. Got it. Yeah, you can already see the difference between uh, um, the movement and the speed uh, for the probing, for yeah, sure. Yeah, it's much faster. And that took 22 seconds. 22 seconds, yeah, much faster, about, I don't know, 30% yeah. uh, decrease in, in time. So, yeah, Mikhail was saying earlier that for uh, medical plastics, because of uh, uh, speed is definitely really important, so I understand why. Uh, the O-Inspect uh, is a good choice for this. Uh, yeah. um, now. Is there anything else uh, that the Owen spec can do that can help with these medical plastic yeah, parts? Yeah, sure. So, medical plastic parts are often very thin and flexible. Sure. Also that one here, you can see that area is quite flexible. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And if you would touch that area with standard probing force, it could be deformed by sure. touching. And that would lead to wrong results, of course. And therefore, we have different probing behaviors, mm -hmm. sensitive, robust, and standard. And it's the same um, where you can turn it on, on the measurement plan editor features, probing behavior of passive sensors. And then here you can decide between sensitive, normal, and robust. Mm -hmm. Let me execute these three points with different probing modes. You know, just looking at it, it's hard to tell uh, a difference. Yeah, um, you can't see it, but you can see it on the measurement results. If you check the C values here, so for sensitive mode, it's around 0.5 micron. Right, <laughs> like nothing. <laughs> yeah. For standard mode, we have minus 20 micron. Wow. And robust, we have even minus 40 microns. Wow. So we see a difference here. There's a huge difference. So even though, I, I mean, so clearly, even though my eye couldn't see the difference between all of that, um, there's clearly a, a deformation happening. And yeah, we're talking about microns, which yeah. are really <laughs> little, so uh, tough to see. So I can totally understand where this would be important. Um, it, it, is this mode for any uh, plastic parts or is it just for medical parts? No, of course you could use it for any plastic parts. Sure, so anything that is sensitive that, that, yeah. that could uh, deform easily, this is a perfect mode for, yeah. for that. But obviously for these parts, perfect. Yeah. Uh, Vanessa, thank you for a quick uh, uh, tour around what uh, 
what's some of the challenges with medical plastics and how we can solve them with O-Inspect. Maybe we come back another time and show us some more stuff. Yeah, hopefully. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Good to see you. Thank you. And uh, for you out there, hope you enjoyed our little look into some of the challenges for uh, measuring medical plastic parts. Hope you'll join us again as we keep going down this journey. But for now, don't forget to stay safe and stay healthy, and we'll see you next time.